So I talked uh, a few slides ago about why I'm describing this a little bit differently. I'm sort of calling it Level Services Plus, which, by the way, is not an official term. It's just <laughs> something I made up. But we did make some, um, we did build in things above and beyond what I would say traditional Level Services budget could be. And we did it for a reason. The first is that there's a significant increase in our building maintenance account, our facilities budget. Chris has also been integral in this uh, development of this uh, budget, as, as has Michelle. Um, bottom line is our current budget in the, in, for facilities just quite simply doesn't reflect what we're actually spending and what it's actually taking us to maintain our building. We've overspent by a significant amount for many, many years. Um, and when you look at that budget, I want to make sure it's as it's, it's realistic uh, as possible. So we actually built in that increase based on actual and historical uh, spending there. So for what it's worth. Similarly with technology, there is not as big, but we have a significant increase in our technology budget really to ensure that we have a sustainable, uh, at least on paper, uh, a device replacement plan, right? This district has made a significant investment in technology over the last five, six years. Um, it's really part of our core business right now, right, if you will. And so, um, uh, uh, Get God Data Director of Technology also did a phenomenal job of forecasting. So again, in this Level Services Plus budget, we want to at least commit that to paper so we have a realistic kind of picture of what it takes. And then finally, this is a big one, not really that big dollar-wise, but in this math tonight, we did take the two kindergarten teachers, full-day kindergarten teachers, and two full-day kindergarten paras that are currently being paid for out of the ESSER grant, and we absorb those into the operating budget. Mm -hmm. And by absorbing those, right now it's just on paper, by absorbing those, we've effectively funded full decade. Mm -hmm. We've kind of completed, completed that funding, mm -hmm. right? So that's a decision to be made. I think that re accurate, accurately reflects what our plan is and what we're actually gonna have to do. The timing on that is really the question, but I did build that in and I just wanna highlight that because the, it's about $156,000, I think, to, to make that move. By law, uh, you know, school departments can, what we call bottom line spend, right? Our budget this year is roughly $43 million, right? In theory, we can spend that money any way we want, okay? Once you get the appropriation from the town, you can, in theory, spend. In practice, we don't want to do that, right? We want to make sure that our budget document is, um, developed thoughtfully and with a purpose and, in, and in, with intention. Um, and we want to make sure that we lay out something that accurately reflects kind of how we operate, right? So my point is I don't want to bottom line spend, right? I want to try to spend to the extent we can in our line items. We have 472 separate accounts in our budget. It's a lot. 158 salary accounts and then the balance are all non-salary, which I'm just referring to as expense just for illustration purposes. So our budget document will have those 472 line items. Okay? At, least, at least to be available to the school committee and, and the town council, right? And, and it's, it's just, it's really detailed. Um, but I think it's important to, uh, for the consumer of the information, for the uh, reader of the information to provide some structure and maybe some better context. So, Long-suffering member of the finance committee in town, Ron Legassi, I think would be shedding tears of uh, joy <laughs> um, if he had seen this presentation tonight. Because I remember mm -hmm. him really trying so hard to get this sort of level of detail um, in, in past budget uh, sessions, um, and it was there tonight. And I can I can see the potential of kind of just the way that you've tagged everything. I I, I could see the spreadsheet or in, in, in my mind, kind of how you could filter all these things different ways. Um, it's really gonna let you I think derive some insights out of where you're spending your money and how you're spending it and um, it's it's impressive I'd love to see it at some point